Hi, I'm Martin Nissen from the WASP team, and in this demonstration I'm going to talk about the assessment of complex terrain in the IC uh, site assessment. And uh, now I'm looking at the help file of WATCH, and uh, I've gone to the section called Standards here, and then Site Assessment, and here's something about complex terrain. That you remember that we had this uh, uh, structure correction function here which can be calculated in this way and then we were supposed to fit um, um, planes to the slope in, in, in sectors here. There used to be a, an old version of the standard where you were fitting it in, uh, in full circles here and that was uh, this version here and these were the conditions here but then later they changed it and made an uh, amendment to this standard and uh, then it's um, done in sectors here and uh, there's furthermore there's a, a criterion saying that you should evaluate what is the energy content in these of these sectors and then uh, the rule is that you should uh, calculate how many uh, how, how much energy is uh, coming from, from sector S where uh, the terrain is, is not uh, uh, compliant with, with the criteria here. And uh, also that there were two uh, uh, ways you could calculate this uh, structure function, either by, by this one here. Uh, later on they allowed this simplified one which is uh, related to this factor here, which is something with the, with the assessments here in of, of the terrain. So I go back to uh, wind farm assessment tool, and then in wind farm overview, terrain complexity, there's a list of these uh, complexity uh, structure correction functions, and you can, if you click here, then you can get some details about how, how this calculated, what was the slope in individual uh, 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 segments, and uh, in the for the inner circle, then it was. Uh, uh, not in sectors, but for, for all directions here. Uh, a a sub-conclusion here for, for each sector and uh, uh, the energy content, and from that you could uh, evaluate this uh, structure correction function. Um, and um, then uh, there's also, if you want to compare with the terrain, um, I can, if I take this side 9 here, then maybe I should go to, to that side here. Uh, so this is a table we are looking at, and uh, um, then I can show the terrain behind it and uh, select a theme called uh, complex uh, terrain zones and uh, zoom out. I can also say that I can, uh, or you you can change the color scale here to, um, I think this one then makes it easier to see, that uh, the, these sectors are, are, are not failing and, and the other ones are, and then you can almost see that the, it's because the terrain is more complicated here. Um, with the many editions of the standard, then uh, sometimes you also want maybe to say how do you model it, maybe you want to use one of the older standards, so here you can go to root element of the object hierarchy and edit the project options. And then there's sec a section here called uh, about complex terrain factors and how uh, should we use them or not for correcting the ambient turbulence intensity. Should you use these rules with, uh, with sectors, which was in this amendment of the standard? And uh, um, then there were two uh, formulas for the rules. One was based on uh, turbulence in different components, velocity components as calculated by WASP engineering. You can use that, or if you don't, then it's uh, it's other formula here. Then there's one which I fitted myself, and that's because uh, I think I have it in uh, in this one here. There's a similar assessment for for something else here. Uh, had this doubt, should I, uh, in the sector, uh, the terrain slope, should it always be just uh, away from the turbine, 
or do you also uh, allow a slope in the tangential direction? So this is what I mean by uh, fitted that. And uh, I don't think you can read that from the standards, so you have to decide for yourself. But you are you're punished in one way or another. If you if you accept this, then the slope will be larger, but uh, the the deviations from the planes will be smaller. So uh, uh, you can maybe uh, reach the same conclusion anyway.